My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? Uh, I want to show you a podcast editing in Studio One. So a few months ago, I edited an episode of the Don't Be Mad podcast. Uh, this is a, well, at the time it was a fairly new podcast. It's been a few months. They've gained some more uh, followers and listeners, and I highly recommend that you check it out. It's a great podcast for everything from sports to pop culture. But I edited this podcast uh, completely in Studio One using Studio One plugins, and I wanted to show you how it was done. So the first thing I want to talk about with podcasts is that unlike music where you're taking your pie and you're splitting it between all your instruments, sounds, drums, and the vocals, with a podcast, you've got the whole vocals for that for that whole pie. So you, you're able to make the vocals a lot louder, and it's going to be the centerpiece, of course, of a podcast. And... A lot of people ask how loud should you make the podcast. There's not a, a standard for loudness for a podcast, but uh, this blue track that you see below the green one is their previous episode. So I took that, referenced how loud they were making it previously, and made mine as loud as that. So this podcast is a, a two-person podcast, and sometimes they have guests. And uh, this it was recorded all onto one track. Uh, both people. So for more control, you would like to have uh, you know control over each individual voice. But you know the recording came through fine, so you know, everything worked out. Uh, I did feel that I was able to uh, enhance it here. So the number one thing that you want to focus on with editing a podcast is keeping everything sounding natural. So I'm going to go step by step through what I did here. I used the the Pro EQ. I used uh, the Studio One compressor. I just renamed it to DSer because that's what it's doing. Then I compressed and then have a limiter on the end. So we just got four plugins here, and let's uh, let's play a little bit of play a little bit of it. And I've got all of the effects out, and then I'll bring them in one by one and show you what I did. Blackity black. Black Panther. Black Panther trailer dropped and. Oh, boy, was it a beauty. Yeah, man, Black Panther, that movie looks... It reminded me of first Iron Man, when Iron Man yeah. came out. When the first Iron like Man the came out. Like the feeling of it, but yeah. one thing I will say, and I, I'm... Hot take, I'm calling it right now, this is going to be the highest grossing Marvel movie of all time. Okay, so not a bad recording, but I do hear uh, some low mids that I want to pull out, and a little bit of mids that I want to push forward. Uh, it's a little essy, so that's what I use the DSer for. Uh, but we'll start with uh, the Pro EQ. So let's turn all of these on, and then let's turn these off. So starting with the Pro EQ, I, I rolled off some lows, uh, did a cut at about 200 hertz, and then I boosted some uh, at 350 so and you know nothing I'm boosting in the high end because we've got those S's that I don't like so I don't want to increase that by adding high end and you know sometimes you're <clears throat> sometimes you're adding high end to help something cut through but with this being a podcast I don't need it to cut through because it's not competing with anything the vocal is the only thing there so let's bring in and out uh, the EQ. Let's start with it out. Blackity Black. Black Panther. Black Panther trailer dropped and oh boy was it a beauty. Yeah man, Black Panther, that movie looks, it reminded me of first Iron Man. When Iron Man yeah. came out. When the first Iron like Man the came feeling out. of it. But yeah. one thing I will say, and I, I'm hot take, I'm calling it right now. This is going to be the highest grossing Marvel movie of all time. I'm calling it right now. Um, and I, I'll give you my reason why. Before you interject, I'll give you my reason why. Okay. Marvel has their core audience that follows them for every movie, no matter what, whether it's something as big as Iron Man or big as Avengers or as small as Ant-Man. So with that EQ in, uh, you should hear those low mids 
get uh, cut a little bit, and those mids that I'm boosting kind of helping to uh, thicken up the voice there a little bit. Uh, let's move on to the de -esser. You should have heard some S's poking out. So I'll leave the EQ in, and we'll bring in and out uh, the D. Uh, the DSer now, and for a DSer, Studio One doesn't have a a DSer, but you can turn the compressor into a DSer by turning on the filter. And I've got mine up to about 4K, so it's going to ignore everything below 4K, and I'm going to compress everything above 4K, uh, which is where the S's are here. Blackity black. Black Panther. Black Panther trailer dropped, and oh boy, was it a beauty. Yeah, man, Black Panther, that movie looks... It reminded me of first Iron Man, when Iron Man yeah. came out. When the first Iron like Man the came feeling out. of it, but yeah. one thing I will say, and I, I'm... Hot take, I'm calling it right now. This is going to be the highest grossing Marvel movie of all time. I'm calling it right now. Um, and I, I'll give you my reason why. Before you interject, I'll give you my reason why. Okay. Marvel has their core audience that follows them for every movie, no matter what. Okay, and we're going to move on to the compressor now. So, I'm using a lot of makeup gain here uh, to, bring, to bring everything up, to bring the voice up. Uh, 5 millisecond attack, 300 millisecond uh, release, and got a 2 to 1 ratio. So, I'm not doing... A lot of heavy uh, compression here. I just want to control the peaks a little bit, uh, just in case there's a you know, part where they get loud. We want to pull that down, and uh, also to bring up some of the quieter, quieter parts and just make the voice more even. And we'll, we'll skip ahead a little bit, so we're not listening to the exact same part. And uh, let's bring the compression in and out. Change, but I'm saying once this hits. It will be the talk because, and, and the one reason I say that too is because, knowing black people, we're gonna turn this to a, a fucking party. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a lot of people to go. Like, see. I'm telling you, right, like the second ticket's going on sale. I'm opening night. I'm probably gonna be there on a Saturday as well for whoever else didn't see it. And then shit, I'll go cheapy Tuesday too because I know it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a. It's it's going like, to be. A this good is movie. definitely a three and five day movie. Like I and that's I'm saying that from a trailer. Okay, why also? Just looking at it, the aesthetics, man, the costumes, the the soundtrack that they've like so slightly showcased so far. I'm telling you, man, this is gonna be such a black and beautiful movie. And just from that alone, oh. And the thing I like about, well, not just not just because you know it's a black movie, but um, and it's dropping in February, man. Ch <laughs> Even better, Black History Month. Okay, so that's what the compressor, we're, just, we're using it to, to level out the voice here and keep everything even. And lastly, let's turn the compressor back in. So lastly is uh, the limiter. And, you know, see we're doing almost, you know, 2 dB of limiting here. Uh, nothing crazy, not a, lot of, not a lot of limiting. I've got the ceiling set to a negative 3 dB, so we don't want anything... Uh, going higher than that and that's just keeping those peaks from going above that because yeah, we don't want anything clipping especially in, in a podcast and getting any you know distortion there so lastly let's listen to a before and after uh, well I've got all the plugins bypassed now and uh, we'll just play another part of the podcast here and bring the plugins in uh, so we can hear the processing and without the processing Oh, like uh, dude, Michael this... B. Jordan's in it, and you know what? Like, I was looking at his hair first. I was like, this might be the only thing in the movie I don't like. Why does his hair look like that? Michael B. Jordan? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like his hair was the only thing that was like kind of throwing me off. But I was like, whatever. It's Michael B. Jordan. Like he's a great actor, so who cares? <laughs> yeah. After after he came out with Creed was like his yeah his big no big no role, but that was no uh, Fruitvale. Fruitvale. I never seen Fruitvale. Oh, um, dude. Like I'll tell you right now that that's that's a movie that. Don't just watch it to watch it. Like you gotta emotionally prepare yourself for it. But Fruitvale Station is it's powerful. Like to me, his best performance. Mm. Like you feel it. And, and like I said, anybody who plans to check it out, or to people who have seen it, like they they can tell you it's very emotional, but it's powerful. Mm. It's a very powerful movie. And like I felt like that was to me what made Michael B. Jordan like 
good to be for Creed mm -hmm. because we saw his emotional range in that movie. He, he got out. He got out of that that mess. That uh, what do you call that thing? Fantastic Four. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he made a, a turn. Mess. But you know what? That was I mean, mess. I can understand him being in it because I mean, it's it's a Marvel movie. It's a check and a half. But it's from so that's what I've did. I've done here as far as editing this podcast. One thing I'll say with editing a podcast is that you have to listen to the whole podcast. Uh, there's not like I didn't just make these settings and then just let it run. You want to listen to the whole podcast because there might be things that you need to cut out, uh, maybe um, noises or something you may want to remove. Um, you know, if someone hit something, hit a table, knock something over. I don't know, just random stuff like that. Uh, I didn't have to do any of that here, uh, which is good. But just one thing to you know keep in mind with podcast editing is that you know you need to listen to the full podcast. You don't want to uh, take a job to edit a podcast and then send it back, and there's you know random stuff that could have been cleaned up or fixed in it that you didn't do. So you know there's some tips, and that's how I use Studio One to edit this podcast. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.